Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm a 22-year-old student from Essex. I'm currently studying drama at the University of Norwich. I have a YouTube channel called Chronically Jenny, uh, which follows my journey with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome and CSF Leak. My CSF leak journey started back in 2014. I was having these constant daily headaches which were getting progressively worse. I've always been headachy since I was a child, so at first I didn't really think too much of it um, until I started getting what I like to call my screaming headaches. These are the headaches that are so, so bad that all you can do is lie there and scream and wait for it to stop. Uh, and I know that I never want to feel a pain like that again uh, and I would not wish it on my worst enemy. Uh, it's the most extreme pain you can feel. So I went to my GP, ended up seeing several uh, rheumatologists and neurologists and no one knew what on earth was wrong with me. Uh, it led to me having to leave university in December 2015 with no idea as to why everything was so bad. I was extremely lucky that in early 2016 I found the right doctor who diagnosed me with EDS, POTS and a CSF leak on the spot. Later in 2016 I had ICP monitoring uh, which is intracranial pressure monitoring in which they put a bolt in your head, uh, I've still got a nice little tuft of hair uh, to show for it, uh, which shows what the pressure's like in your head. And, and after three days in hospital, it was confirmed that I did have low pressure and therefore a leak. In January 2017, I had the first of three autologous epidural blood patches, which is when your own blood is taken out of your arm and put in the epidural space in your back. Uh, and no one quite knows how it works, but it's meant to irritate your spinal cord and seal the leak. And after three, which ended in March 2017, I was lucky enough to be leak free and have been for nearly a year. I have not had a screaming headache in just under a year and it's honestly given me my life back. Last September I was able to return to uni, uh, which has been amazing and you know, I couldn't have done it without finding out what was wrong with me and getting it fixed. People need to have much more awareness, especially when it comes to spontaneous leaks uh, linked with connective tissue disorders, because uh, I didn't know I had either of them, <laughs> let alone both. Uh, but as someone who now lives with a chronic health condition, it was amazing uh, to have a doctor tell you that you did have something and it could be fixed. And I am one of the very, very lucky ones. And it was fixed with an average number of patches. And I was able to receive treatment easily once I'd found a knowledgeable doctor. I do live in fear um, of them coming back. Uh, I'm scared of breaking my patch whenever I get a really bad headache or a migraine. I, you know, get really anxious that something's wrong. And, you know, being a spontaneous leak caused by my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, it could happen to me again at any time. Knowing the pain, you never want to go through it again. Uh, when I had the bolt pulled out of my head during my ICP monitoring, it was much less painful than the headaches I was getting. So I hope this leak week we can spread lots of awareness for CSF leaks and help lots of more people so that they can go back to living a leak-free life. Thank you.